And I'm in Ward Park uh, in Bangor. Uh, the park's extensive. It's about 30, 37 acres, would you believe? And it's got football, tennis, putting, cricket, hockey, bowling, and it's got exotic birds. Never mind the, the wild ones, but it's like got exotic birds in cages and stuff up in here. And just up there is the gun of the German submarine. You can just see it. That lady and that child's coming by. And here is the uh, the gun of taking off a World War One. Submarine. It looks quite a substantial gun too. And that's the war memorial in the background. For all the guys and ladies who lost their lives serving in the First and Second World War. And it looks quite a contraption this. I presume these wheels are to, uh, to move it up and move it down and move it to the side and the shells would have been loaded in here I'm not quite sure what kind of shells it would have been uh, it was built by uh, Krupp 1916 1354 kg and there's the dial to give you direction spin it around, what does it say? This gun taken from German submarine UB-19 was allotted to Bangor by the Admiralty in recognition for of the glorious uh, conduct of Commander the, Ro the Honourable Edward Barry Stuart Bingham of HMS Nestor at the Battle of Jutland on the 31st of May 1916 for which he received the Victoria Cross. That's something else. Well, this is history. Don't think there's too many of these knocking about. And down in Ward Park, there's a gun taken off a German World War I uh, submarine. And that gun uh, was given to Bangor uh, as a tribute to the cur courage and valour of this guy here, as a wee remembrance down in Ward Park and I'm going down to video that and see.